What up, 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 world? It's your boy Amp Dog with another episode of Politicking. Want to thank everybody for tuning in, showing your love. And today, I need you to tell a friend to tell a friend. Big Amp Dog said, What's the deal? And uh, we about to go ahead and do this little versus locks versus dipset reaction. We got to do it. Uh, <clears throat> I watched it. Um, I got to be real though. Like growing up, I listened to way more Dipset than I did the Locks, but then I started listening to more Jada Kiss as I got older and stuff. But I gotta say, like, this battle did not go the way I was expecting. Um, I thought, you know, because like I said, I listened to Dipset growing up, so I just thought Dipset was gonna come in and just, you know, bird gang, you know, just go in. But them niggas was just like back in the day, them niggas was just too cool for school. You know what I'm saying? They came out. They look, they they fit the part. It was Dipset for show, you know, iced out. You know what I mean? My boy Joel Santana came back with the old bandana. You know what I mean? But it was just they wasn't prepared. You could see like they just thought they was gonna just walk in. We in New York, but like Jada said, he said, "Hey Cam, you live in Miami. You know what I'm saying? You live in Miami, big dog. Like like we going first. This is you know what I'm saying? Like we at home. So you know what I mean? So." Jada Kiss had a lot of had a lot of jabs that he was throwing. And you could tell, like, uh Styles P, um, my brother be selling them juices and and and, and herbs and stuff, but that boy was he was the the original SP the ghost. Like, he came he was fucking with Cameron from the early set. Like, I think he tried to pull that nigga off the lawn chair, everything. <laughs> like they was going at it though, you know what I'm saying? Uh but I gotta say, Dipset just seemed like they was just too, too, too cool for the occasion. Like we wanted to really see y'all go out there and go hard. You know what I'm saying? It just wasn't prepared, and then it was just so many of them, which I, I like that nostalgia of you know that classic '90s hip hop where it's a thousand niggas on the stage and ain't nobody got no business being on the stage. But it just it fit. But then when you hear the guy that that I guess he's running the the production, he like yo. We need some of y'all to get off the stage. The stage gonna collapse. It took like 12, 15 minutes for these niggas to get them off the stage. And they didn't even get everybody off the stage. They just had to continue the show. Um, that was probably the one thing that I was like, dang. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, uh, Freaky Zeke, he was, he was loaded. He was loaded. You could tell he was loaded. I seen him like... He was dancing off the side of the stage, trying to get at, try to mack at some girl, and then you could see the dude walk up, like, like, cause she say nah, but you could see the dude, like, like, hold on, bro, that's my girl, like, dude was all over the place. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jada Kiss tells, he told Jim Jones, I never let a nigga in leather pants beat me, like, like, <laughs> this nigga was going, he was going in on these niggas, like, and then um. When they start talking about, I'm starting to, Joel Santana, and you could tell he's a young one out the group, you feel me? Because he started popping shit, and it was like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Because I was waiting to hear Jada Kiss play some of that, you know, knock yourself out, and you know, like, that classic, you know, so he like, these niggas don't like girls, these niggas don't like girls, and you know what I'm saying? He was like, Jada Kiss hit him with another bang. He was like, nigga, we got Grammys. Y'all niggas don't know what Grammys look like. Y'all know what Grams look like. Y'all don't know what Grammys look like. <laughs> hey, <laughs> uh, yeah, this this was it was it was a good one. I definitely gotta say, if I got, if if this was a a, a let, let's say a battle rap, right? Uh, I gotta I gotta say the locks three o, they three o dipset. Um, and it was because the just the performance aspect, because like I said, I was a fan of Dipset, so I noticed certain songs that they was trying to play. But when you can't really see them project it right, like everybody all over the place, like you know what I'm saying, y'all y'all really got bodied by three niggas, three niggas on the stage by themselves, and y'all had the whole platform full of dudes. Y'all was getting ate up, man. Um, uh, yeah, Jim Jones getting ate up for that head to toe leather fit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, like <clears throat> between him and Joel Santana coming out, looking like it's it's the middle of March. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, these niggas came out with full jackets on, with 
like he had like six bandanas on like you just you just look i don't know they was they was they was lit though i think it was a good experience uh as far as entertainment go um then uh my boy <laughs> my boy tried to uh my boy jim jones before he did his we fly high he he went over to a jeweler to, to put on a big big ass chain and when he put on that chain uh my boy said, he said, man, come on, man, you stop on the show. Like, you don't, don't give it back to him either after the song either. Like, <laughs> Jada Kiss was on one. And you know what I'm saying? I thought we was going to get that Jada Kiss that did the the original uh, versus battle where he was lit. He was drunk as hell. But now he came out ready to go at these niggas' neck. Uh, Styles P. He was he kept pressing them. Uh Sheik, he was he he just was doing you know, I think Sheik was pretty much himself in, in, in the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? He always been kinda like the laid back, just you know what I'm saying? Uh I wish I wish Cameron would have would have been more like into it. Cause you can see like the one thing about Dipset is they don't move unless Cam move or do something, you know what I'm saying? Like it was one part where the locks had did like three, four songs, you know what I'm saying? And then they like, they like, what's up? And you know, uh, I see Jim Jones walk up to Cam, like, cause Cam like, no, 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 it's cool. And then Jim Jones like, nigga, what? Like, you, you ain't gonna let us go? So it was kind of like, I don't know, but like my boy Jada Kiss kept saying, the fight is fixed. And I think they just came better prepared, man. Like every single, everything that they played, they had a banger for it. Every every little joke that they gave, they had a banger for it. Like, oh, you said what? Psh, watch this. Oh, you said what? It's like, psh, like, oh, y'all ain't got no, y'all ain't. We got radio hits. That's what that's what Dipset was telling me. We got radio hits. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas got got mixtapes and this and that. And nah, they dropped, they dropped, bang, bang, bang. And then when they did the whole, the, the, my favorite part was when they was like, these niggas don't like girls. And they did that whole thing where you got Mariah Carey, you got everybody. They just dropping, what, 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 what. Yeah, that shit was so dope. Um, but yeah, that's my that's my take on it. I say that they definitely, um, they definitely got 3 0'd. Um, if you want to be petty like I was, I say they got 3 0'd by one nigga because Jadakiss stole the show. Like, Jadakiss was that nigga, like, like, what are we doing here? And I really felt that. Like, and I was sitting there like, damn, when Dipset gonna play this song? And then when they do play the song that you ready for them to play, it just didn't hit the way it was supposed to. You feel me? Like, ah, oh, man, it was crazy. But yeah, like, Joel Santana, he was loaded. That nigga kept, like, falling, rolling on the ground and, like, all kind of shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I, I just. I think I think it was an overall win for hip hop, but I think we just seen the end of Dipset as a whole, as a collection. We gonna still see, you know, the Killer Cams, the the Jim Joneses, everybody individually. Um, but I think it's probably a wrap. And just you know, seeing how they did, my boy Killer Cam, he ready to drop a freestyle. Um, I don't know what happened with that. I just felt all like, you know, them cringy moments where you like, oh, like I, I, re I really started like getting like nervous for my boy. Like, damn, like and he just, he kept trying to do it. He tried to respit it that second time. And it was like, like niggas, you're going to spit because he keep talking about somebody stopping them or like they ain't let me rap. Yeah, yeah. Then it's like, bruh. Yeah, so I think that was the, the, the probably the most embarrassing part of the night if it would, if it would be. Uh, my opinion on that, cause you know we all know Killer Cam, he 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 could spit, you know what I'm saying, but he just didn't seem like he was in the right. I don't know, I don't know, man. Y'all got body by by a nigga that 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 do juicing, you know what I'm saying. He gave y'all that that good nutrition, you know what I'm saying. You got Jada Kiss that just I didn't really realize the 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 actual extent of Jada Kiss catalog, bro. Like he was. Whew, spitting um yeah dipset man y'all came out looking like y'all gave us that that feel like when we seen y'all come out oh, oh dipset dipset like we ready but like the energy everything like you know it was just y'all was trying to put on a production instead of really trying to like go back and forth with the locks and the locks was not trying to play with y'all you feel me um you know like 
it took 20 minutes for the, the dip set to come out on stage, you know what I'm saying, because they want to set up a lawn chair, they got 38 eight peoples there, you know what I'm saying, one thing I did like is when they scanned into the audience and you see celebrities actually sitting there chilling in the, in the audience, like, these niggas not even looking to get on stage, and they probably could stand up there, but they trying to actually see the experience. So I think that's another thing about this today's generation where everybody, instead of being actually in the experience watching it, you actually want to sit there and hold your phone up and take selfies and make sure everybody can get you on your snap, you know what I mean? Like, nah, so... Uh, yeah, overall it was it was a cool it was a it was cool. Um it just seemed like Dipset just came together for a check and uh, was ready to get it over with as, as soon as it, it it started type shit. And I, I can't blame them because the the energy that that these dudes came with, you feel me? It was it was that real gut of New York. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like if yeah, it was New York at its finest when you've seen the locks like old school none of that none of that soft uh none of that none of that bullshit none of that politics that go into you know celebrity and this and that like they gave you that real you know 90s early 2000s vibe you feel me dipset on the other hand they came off a little like this generation's hip-hop you know what i'm saying like it was all about how i'm holding the microphone do i look cool because niggas ain't really rapping. Niggas was just... Then you just see him put the mic down, start laughing for nothing. Like, <laughs> like what the fuck is y'all niggas laughing at? Jim Jones did that a lot. But, yeah. Um, I don't know. I just say next time, uh, Dipset, come ready, come ready, come more prepared. Uh, Jim Jones, don't miss your leg days. Because you could have probably held your team up a little bit stronger. But, you know, I don't know. Uh, Cameron, you you just too cool for school, big dog. Uh, but I feel it. You know what I'm saying? All y'all got, y'all got what y'all came for. Y'all came to get a bag, and that's all that matter. You know what I'm saying? That's all that matter. Y'all gave a good show. Um, it was like when I was on Instagram, it was like 634,000 people. So it was a it was a it was a big production. You feel me? Shout out to Versus. You know. Um, who y'all trying to see on the next one? I think I think they should start like changing it up. You know what I'm saying? To um, <clears throat> you know, like do some do some do some more like like something like this, but just with like groups that that probably was a one hit wonder. So all they can play is they they first album like like get the Nappy Roots versus uh, I don't know uh, Bubba Sparks and his people. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend. Big Am Dog said, what's the deal? And as always, protect your people, protect yourself, and protect your peace. Peace.